Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate you being here. No problem. I'm happy to talk to you. Great. Well, as you know, we're opening up enrollment into the association again soon, and we like to talk to associates such as yourself, PhDs, who've transitioned into industry uh, successfully through the program. So again, thanks for being here, and uh, maybe you can just start by introducing yourself and the position and company you're with now. No problem. My name is Rebecca Sweet, and in the Facebook group, I would be Becky Sweet, and people know me by both. Um, my company is Sanofi Pasteur, which is the vaccine arm of uh, Sanofi, the pharmaceutical company. Yes. My position is vaccine specialist consultant, but that's basically a fancy term for sales rep, and I visit GPs mostly. Excellent. Well, congratulations. A great company, um, and you're very successful now. Uh, I want to rewind a little bit uh, to before you transitioned, before you joined the association. You were having some challenges in your job search. And I like to talk about the challenges in the, the technical side, but also on the, you know, the mental side. Maybe you can tell us what those challenges were for you. Sure. So uh, my situation is that I'm a U.S. citizen, but I live in Australia. So I have a unique set of challenges in that, not that I'm an immigrant. I know that we have immigrant issues all over the world, but just that the industry roles that are available in Australia are a bit more limited than in the U.S. So I knew that I needed to have a well-developed strategy in order to be successful, and there's a lot of competition here. Hmm. Yeah, so very competitive field, and you yeah. needed a, a complete strategy, so sequence, etc. cetera. Um, what did it look like once you joined the association in terms of the the materials and the training that you got? Is there anything that stuck out to you as an early aha moment? Yes. So when I joined the association, I already had a LinkedIn profile, but my LinkedIn profile was very amateur. So that was the number one first thing that I did. When I first joined the association, I was very far off from actually having an active job search, but being able to build that LinkedIn network very early and having access to thousands of members, many of whom had already transitioned, was huge in terms of both building a network and also just inspiring me as to what was possible. Mm, excellent. And so you change your LinkedIn profile, right? That helped you on the technical side. There's also, you mentioned the, the private group and the community. Did the community help you? Uh, if you could explain it to people who haven't been in it and talk a little mm -hmm. bit about the responsiveness, what it meant to you, uh, what would you say? A hundred percent. So something else that's been really huge for me in terms of the closed Facebook group and the community we have is that a lot of us in the association are mothers mm -hmm. and are having extra challenges in terms of work-life balance and finding roles that are a good fit for our family and depending on if you have a partner what your partner's work situation is. So it was amazing to have the feedback from so many other cheeky mamas of many flavors and knowing that we could all do it together. And in general, that the group on Facebook is just such a positive place and a place where I felt comfortable sharing any challenges I was going through. And I knew that it would be a positive, supportive environment. And we all have shared goals. Excellent. Well, it's great to hear. Last question. Did you have any reservations before joining? And if so, how were those reservations alleviated after you joined? I, I guess it would be the money issue. <laughs> you know, PhD students and postdocs, you don't always have a lot of money. Um, but in my case, um, I decided to join the association mostly because it was a one-off payment. And so although I didn't know when I was going to be transitioning out of academia, I knew it was going to happen. And because it was a lifetime membership, I felt comfortable investing um, at that point and knowing that I could go at my own speed. Excellent. Well, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you for sharing your story. And again, congratulations on your career success. We know that things are going to keep moving up for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Isaiah. It's been lovely to talk to you.